limiting how much chromium-6 can flow out of your tap. KPRC2 Investigates has been reporting on this for years, investigating how some of the most elevated levels can be found in Aleaf, Liberty, and Fort Bend counties. We have been persistent, holding lawmakers accountable, and as we first reported yesterday, the House has passed legislation requiring the EPA to set a standard for chromium-6 within two years. We tracked down Congressman Al Green in Aleaf and also got reaction from Aaron Brockovich. Health reporter Haley Hernandez picks up the story from there. All across our area, you've got fountains and splash pads. It's a great way to escape from the heat, but would you let your children play in here if you knew there was a dangerous chemical? Barbara Quattro is a resident of Aleaf. We first met her years ago when KPRC2 Investigates discovered elevated levels of chromium-6 in the drinking water. And today, talk to her about an amendment headed to the Senate that would limit the amount of the cancer-causing chemical flowing from the tap. It has to get past the Senate, and then once we have some standards, We've got to figure out where it's coming from. Under current rules, there's no standard for chromium-6 and no requirement to test for it. After KPRC did our own tests, Public Works agreed to also test Aleaf's water four times a year. The state of California has a health goal of 0.02 parts per billion. The last reading in May at this Aleaf facility was 6.3. Well, what amount do you feel comfortable with in your water? Uh, I'm not a scientist. I have no idea, but once you, I mean, I think that's terrifying. Houston Congressman Al Green authored the amendment. We chatted today in Aleaf with environmentalist Aaron Brockovich. 30 years since I started my work in Hinkley, 20 years since that film, and we're now getting something done. And that's because of you and your persistence, and we are so grateful, and it is a privilege to be with you. Thank you. Well, I think we're moving in a positive direction. I'm like you. Uh, while it has taken us a while to get here, I'm appreciative of the fact that we are here and that the future looks a lot better than the past. Now, if that bill passes the Senate, it would require the EPA to set a federal standard for chromium-6 in drinking water in the next two years. Reporting from Aleaf, I'm Haley Hernandez, KPRC 2 News.